John 21, 25, Jesus also did many other things. If they were all written down, I suppose the whole world could not contain the books that would be written. How many miracles do you think Jesus performed while he was here on earth? Eight, 10, 38, 100? The fact is we just don't know. And we're unable to count them because there are verses like John 20, 30 that say Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. And verses like the one that we have for our devotional today. Jesus also did many other things. If they were all written down, I suppose the whole world could not contain the books that would be written. Now, while we can't answer the question of how many miracles Jesus performed on the earth, we can answer the question of how will we respond to his miracles. Are you choosing to respond in belief or disbelief, in skepticism or in faith, in trust or in doubt? How we respond to the miracles of Jesus, both in the Bible and in our personal lives, makes a huge difference in our world and in our life. Miracles demonstrate the power of God. They, they strengthen our faith and call us to belief and obedience in Christ. For some, it may create doubt and skepticism, but here's the deal. The choice is ours to make, belief or unbelief, trust or doubt, faith or skepticism. John wrote the book of John, not so that we would doubt, but so that we would believe. Jesus performed miracles that we might believe, and God came to earth in flesh that we would believe. So today, ground yourself in the word of God that you also might choose to believe.